Alright, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Megman X2. This is, yeah. Oh, you already know it's Finch and Duh. You wouldn't be watching this if you didn't know who I was. Pardon me. We're going to take on Bubble Crab. Excuse me. Oh. Have some of that uh, Dr. Pepper backing up. Yeah, you've all seen this stage once before. It's nothing in... Well, yeah, it's nothing new. But I feel like I have to show it because I did something during my previous take that I didn't do before. And that was take out this dang fish with my Mega Buster. Something that I tried desperately to do last time when I was trying to hunt down Violin and I failed miserably. No, or do not. There is no try. Hmm? Horrible Yoda impression for the loss. Oh, now he's, now he's not doing it. See, last time he was just gracefully floating down the ramp, following it peacefully, allowing me to take out the take out his back fin and the two fins he has on top. But nope. All right, and come on now. Tail down. Let's see if we can take out that lower fin right there. Oh, poop. All right, and. Uh, let you know. Hey, let's try doing. Oh wow! See if I can keep up this pace. Uh, oh yeah, I think if you take out the back fin, it, or yeah, the back flipper fin. I'm sorry, marine biologist. Again, I I apologize for my horrible lack of proper terminology. And why am I coming up here? Oh yeah, to show that it is possible to beat him up here. Then this little gap right here that I'm standing over would close and I'd be fighting the X-Hunter. But that's for another time. Since we can't fight the X-Hunter, we can't take the shortcut, which means we have to go the natural way, which is right here. Now, what's really cool is if you were able to fight the X-Hunter, it would actually pop you out right before Bubble Crab's door, which makes for an incredibly short trip there. But at the same time, you're fighting Bubble Crab on whatever energy you had before then if you don't pick anything else up. So it becomes a two-boss fight, and those can be kind of annoying. I, well, no, I take that back. They leave an energy pellet for you to get right there. Okay, Bubble Crab has a very simple pattern, even though he managed to kick my butt during this last the last take I had of this. It's... Yeah, his, his shield may be annoying, but there's a little trick that will make it so much more bearable. Hop over his head. Oh, and by hop over his head I mean do that and back away. He will pop the bubble with his horns, or with his, or I guess his are horns, I'm not sure what you call those, but he'll pop them. I don't think crabs have horns, do they? Well, he, he pops them with his shoulder spikes. There, we'll just call them shoulder spikes for now, just to be safe. Yeah, he'll... And now leave him open to attack. And I've actually been able to, at some times, get him to just spam the spike move over and over again. Yeah, just by doing that. As soon as he charges up for a bubble, just uh, jump over his head like so, and blammo. Of course, when he doesn't do the bubble, it's kind of hard to get him to spam it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. No, 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 don't die. No! Oh, ouch, ouch, Bubble Crab, I hate you so much. Oh. Okay, let's do this again. Come on. And... Charging up. Boom. Bubble. Shoulder spikes, go. Shoulder spikes. See, it doesn't even have to be in his bubble for him to do it, it's just, it's a great way to get around the bubble if you have to without breaking it with your buster manually, which is annoying, it takes forever. And by the time you get it down, you just have to settle for a regular shot because there's no guarantee that you're going to get a charge up, charge shot off before he gets his bubble on there, or gets his bubble formed again. Yeah, alright, bubble tag, horns, go, shoot. Horns, fire! Oh, ow! Stupid thing! Horns, go! Come on! Back away! Bubble! Oh, use the shoulder spikes! 
Pop out. That's, that's right, so it's gonna call them shoulder spikes, and here I am already forgetting what I said earlier. And one more time. Yes! Bubble crap. Dead. Oh, this no power up. This one half no power run's going so much better now that the three X Hunters are dead. Like I said, they are the most annoying part of this. Oh, but sadly enough, those guys make X3 look easy. I mean, I mean, yeah, X3 makes those guys look easy. Wow, backwards. Ugly color scheme. I don't mind purple with yellow, but not that much yellow with that purple. Eh, but then again, I have no eye for fashion, so... Ah. Okay, last Maverick, here we go. Overdrive Ostrich. I have about four minutes left, so we'll see how far we get in his stage, and yeah. Hopefully this won't screw up like the last video did. That would be depressing. Okay. Ah, drip. Oh, I'm already off to a great start. Alright, I will show you guys how to get to the X Hunters here, or at least I'll show you. The path to get to the X Hunter is through this thing right here. Use Wheel Gator's power to destroy it. But it doesn't act as a shortcut like it does in other stages. It's just you fight, go to that room, then you backtrack and come out here. Speeder bike! Huh. I've saved the level with the speed up, with the leg upgrades and the speed thing. Let me rephrase this. I've saved the level with the, with the leg upgrades for last twice in a row, and I didn't even mean to this time. Jump. Ah. Uh, I still cannot do that. I only discovered I could do that thanks to watching uh, Nintendo Capri Sun's playthrough of this, or LP of this game. Uh, because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get the bike up here, and then it'll ride along those spikes, and you can get the heart container that way, or the heart tank, not container. Uh, I have been watching too much of Twilight Princess, or NCS's Twilight Princess, I should say. Alright, Scorpion, Scorpion. Oh, wow, that was a really short. That was only like two minutes at most. So let's take on Overdrive Ostrich. Hopefully we can take him down, but if not, at least we'll pick up the next video right before we fight him. Kind of a unique intro to a boss fight, riding the missile to destroy it. Okay, let's see, you know, 1730. Let's see if we can take him down in 220. I hope we can. I believe we can. We just need to play smart and dodge his moves. Okay, and when he's running, jump over him, he'll skid like that, and then he'll shoot out spikes like that. But if you can just be cool, keep a level head, if you get him off screen, he's going to run to the background like that. And just make, when he does that, just dash. Dash repeatedly. Ow. And you can, theoretically, just keep dashing off screen to get him to do a just get him to do those moves over and over again. You get a lot of free hits, but that takes a long time. And I already explained earlier, I'm an impatient person. Ow. And I suck at dodging that attack. Oh, I did that that time. The one attack I really don't want him to do is when he starts trotting. Yeah, that. Because it hurts a lot. It kicks you away. And it's just... Yeah, it's just plain annoying. And it's hard to dodge, too. You need to get below him. Don't trot... But then again, luckily he gives you this little... He gives you this... He has a nice hilly field to do that in. Well, I think I'm going to call that a video here, maybe. Oh, no. Okay. One more attempt. We have a minute. I might have to speed up something, unfortunately, but... Uh, I'm... Well, I'll, I'll speed up something not essential. Like me singing a tune or something, because no one wants to hear those. Or I might speed up the intro. We'll see. Alright. Jump. Jump! Slide. I'm sorry, folks. I'm just trying to concentrate here. I don't want to die. Because I'd prefer to get this down soon. Nope, nope, nope. Dodge. Alright, and come on. Just, just dash towards me. You know you want to dash towards me. 
Wow, I have a little bit of a slur there with my chest sounds. Alright, and... Ooh, one more charge shot, and we got this. Booyah! <laughs> yes! All eight Mavericks down, all X Hunters taken care of, my screensaver just activated. Oh, yeah, this... Hope... Oh, no, that would just be depressing. That'd just be way too depressing. Uh, let's not even think about that right now. Let's not think of what would happen if this Z-Snest recording messed up again. Uh... You got... Sonic Slicer. Uh, oh, it's going to be a useful move later on. Alright, folks, that's all the time we have. Thank you for watching Let's Play Mega Man X2. We'll pick up next time.